Welcome back to my channel. My name is Veronica and in this video, I am going to be telling you about everything I have done to make money since I can remember, like it's going to be way back. And the motive of this video is not to just um, tell you things I've done. There are two motives for this video. The first one will be that hardly do we talk about money. I didn't really grow up talking about money, how to make money. I just found it along the way. I just tried to do it, one, because of the need, too, because maybe I didn't really have an option of choice. I just had to look for something to do to get myself established, to get myself um, set up, especially in school. I want money to be a topic that we can discuss or that we can talk about on this channel easily. I also want it to be something I can discuss with the younger generation, my children, and just make it a comfortable topic. And two, another reason why I'm making this video is so that you can also get ideas if you are in the university, high school, if you are starting your career. My own journey and things I have done might inspire you to start something. So it's not basically about what I have done to make money. It's basically how I was able to make use of the resources around me. I was able to ensure that um, I survived with the little that I had by thinking about how I could make money and also just use what I had to go through that period of phase of my life. So I hope you're inspired. I hope you're able to look around and set up yourself to start doing something rather than maybe um, resulting to asking, begging, or rather than suffering in silence. It's about you thinking about what you can use and maximizing your resources to the highest level possible. So if you're ready to know what I have done to make money, then let's go into today's video. If you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, now is the time. Click on the subscribe button below and turn on your notification bell so that you can be the first to be notified whenever I put up a new video. All right, guys, let's get into today's video. Welcome back, guys. I have a list here that I've put down so that I don't miss anything. And so I am going to quickly run through the list of what I've done to make money and how far back I can remember why I did it and the lessons I learned from it in just a few points. So it's not going to be a very long video so before i go into it one thing i want you to note is that i am an accountant by profession so there are other things that i have done career wise that i might not necessarily mention because i have gotten or made money from my career from being an accountant from working in companies financial related industries and just building my career so that's one major source of income for me that's one way that i was able to make money but i'll be telling you every other thing aside that if you want me to make a video about my career progression where i started from the ups and downs getting a job um salary increase negotiation videos around that let me know and then i'll probably make subsequent videos but this video will be about every other thing i have done aside career jobs if you understand what i mean right i started making money uh, sometime around junior high school to be honest like i said money wasn't a very convenient topic that i grew up talking about and that's one thing i want to change and that's why i try to come on here talk about savings talk about investing and all of that so I wasn't really thought how to make money. Along the line, I started to pick up skills that I could use to make money and it started in junior high school. So in junior high school, when I was in GSS1, I went to a school where craft was part of the curriculum. Most of the students in the school, one way or the other, embraced craft. So it was a girl's school, girls only school. And then there were times when we were introduced to crafts like crocheting, paper mache, fine arts, and um, home economics and all of that. So I started to get introduced quite early to that. And I was about 10 or thereabout. So that was in junior high school. And given that it was a boarding school, whenever I went home for holidays, I would just disturb my mom. My mom, I want to get beads. I want to get um, yarns. I didn't know that it was called yarns then. We'll call it wool. And then I want to make things for myself for the holidays. Sometimes she'll be like, why not go to summer lessons? What do you want to use all this to do? Or later, if I have a bit persistent, you will take me to the market. I'll get some beads. I'll get some crochet pin. I'll get yarns and I'll start making things. So I remember that in church, I took a beaded 
killed us. They were killed us and they were um bangles, billion bangles that I made and I was selling for like 100 naira, 150 naira. So that was kind of the first thing that I did as first experience. But the truth is that it wasn't a very sustainable business because I had to go back to boarding school and it wasn't really a thing to sell in school because every other person or almost every other person already knew how to make that craft. So the only place where I could sell was during the holidays and the time at school was even more than the time was spent for holidays. It was just like on and off, on and off. Whenever I was at home, I sell kiodas to church members and friends. And that was kind of the first thing that I did. Just for context, I'll be showing you examples of those beaded kiodas and then crochet products, which I still do till now. Well, that was where it all started. So this is an example. I have this card holder that I made. I have all my cards and then doubles. The doubles are the key holder as well. I have my office key, the top key and the house key here. This is another key holder that we use in the house. And these are bangles that I'll make them. And I still make them for myself. This is another one. I wear them for them. So for yarns, I make something like this into different things like that you can imagine. This is another of my products. I'm not sure you can see it. It's a recent beaded bag that I made. So beautiful, right? And yeah, I'm sure you can see it from here. So this is another product that I made by myself all from scratch. Yeah, it's like a new design for me. It's a design that I, you know, tried to work on, but now put in my own touch by putting two colors together and by also putting a different handle. So it's like an handle finishing that I, I don't think I've seen before. So another thing you have to be when you are going into making money or thinking about making something for yourself is to be creative. Think creativity. It's not a sprint, like I would always say, it's a marathon. So whatever it is that you're doing, bring in creativity and make sure that you're making a good name for yourself by doing something that is really original and will be sought after. So if you really want to know more about my craft and everything I do, you can go to my craft page that I have linked in the description box below. And that was where it all started from. And then fast forward, that went on like that till the end of secondary school. And then um, I kept learning. When I even changed my secondary school, I still kept learning how to make beads. I got better flower verses and all. And honestly, after that period, it stopped because it was a busy learning period. Immediately after secondary school, I went into university. University as well, we were introduced to craft. There was this GST course, general studies course, that you have to pick a craft. And then I learned tailoring in 200 level as well. During the holidays, whenever I went home, I would learn tailoring. So tailoring is another thing, or sewing is another thing that I made money from just randomly. I, when I was in Nigeria, I had a sewing machine. And then when I went for service in Kebi State, I took my sewing machine with me and I was able to make some money from it. So that's another thing that I did. From these two things that I mentioned, it's just based on the skills I learned. So sometimes it might not be something that you already know. You might need to learn it. You might pick it one way or another. So if there is someone out there that is thinking, what can I do different from my career? You can just think of what you can do. And one thing that helped me was I tried different things or I was introduced to different things as a young student. I mentioned different crafts, but I stuck with beads. I stuck with yarns and then tailoring, sewing. I don't do everything at the same level now. They are all on different levels based on my um, availability, based on my schedule. So you have to try out different things so that you can know which one you want to settle down for. But moving on, another thing I did was to sell chips and that one didn't just come out of the blues honestly it came because when i got to 300 level we would usually need to stay in class for a long period of time and then we we'll get hungry and we will usually go to get um things that we can eat the distance from the class so i'll just take potato chips and the way i, I did it was that i'll bring a whole lot of it from home when i'm coming to school my mom will help with that and then i'll take them in bits to class and everyone will be like ah oh, veronica give me chips give me chips give me chips i'm hungry <laughs> that one was not a convenient one because it felt somewhat like it was kind of distracting like you know that girl that sits in front serious and now she's bringing potato chips to sell but i had to do what i had to do number one because the source of income i had was not very sufficient and Another thing I did as well in that time of my life was to look around when I went home for holidays, what I could do as a student to boost my income. And I saw a printer at home that was not really in use. So I had to bring it along to school. And so I said also printing, photocopy. It was a very small printer, just a very small one, but it was like three in one, but it was not as efficient or very good as all those big ones that you see in cyber cafes or printing shops. So 
I had to do what I had to do with that as well. It gave me a couple of issues here and there, but trust me, I need money from that printer and it served me at that point in time. I mentioned sewing. It was after graduation, which was after the printing and potato chips era that I moved into sewing. I started learning it, of course, during um, university days. And so I started making one or two from it. When I went to service, which is the next phase of my life, or which was the next phase of my life, I was able to sew for people as well. I was in a community of Christians in the church I attended during my service where I made male and female clothing for people at that time. And I made a couple of cash. It was small, I won't even lie. At that time, I was still learning to price my item correctly. And people were not really, you know, you know the way people can be with crafts. Do it for me now. Uh -uh, it's not expensive, all those kind of things. And I will make these things. And what's coming back to me in terms of reward is little or nothing. In retrospect, what I've learned is that these things have taught me to know my worth, to build a business to know how to relate with people more to be firm because sometimes i have to actually stick to my prices and explain why it's that expensive and it's not even expensive or why it's that amount so all of these skills that comes along with making a business are things that i've been able to build so after that era i started working in a corporate firm in a bank to be very precise i thought about what i could do or sell there that would bring me a bit of income that was like my first major job trust me and the salary was not enough if i'm going to be very plain like i've said if you want me to talk about my career and how navigating each of it was this, the, how the salary was like it might not be in plain terms but let me know and i'll give you a more detailed recap about that so when i got to the bank i decided to start doing something extra and so i started selling socks brooches um perfume oils because i had colleagues that were in the bank that would wear ties socks and brooches the guys as well have lapels so i would import that and then i'll sell it in the office so that was also bringing income for me at that time so invisible socks perfume oils pocket perfumes all of that i even opened a page for it but the truth is that life moves fast so all of these things were just in different eras of my life such that when i moved from one place to another or when i changed jobs it was like me starting the game because it was not the same target audience or same market audience that would be there so one thing i always did was just to do a market survey again whenever i moved from a particular place i was doing something and see how i can infuse all of these things together or start something new but all of this can actually encourage you depending on where you are now so after a while i decided that i was going to be putting all of these things together rather than selling them individually so i started doing gift boxes so in the gift box i would make things by myself sometimes it can be a key order sometimes it can be something i've made by myself like you all know taking us back to the beginning of this video you already know that i make things or things that i've imported things i already sell they can be bags they can be yeah bags also was part of the things i was selling for ladies so mini bags so in the gift box i'll put the mini bag the perfume the lapel the socks and just made them into packages because comparing the amount i was getting from individual sale it was not as profitable as putting it together as a package so you know that this box is five thousand naira, or this other box is seven thousand naira, rather than someone just buying perfume or 500 from you so it was more substantial to do it that way and so i you know continue like that and so give boxes was part of what i did after i left the bank i went to different organizations that the business idea i had for the bank wasn't really working in so i went back to sticking to my craft which are um, beaded bags uh key holders crochet crochet tops crochet berets and sewing once in a while but now i have just decided that i'm going to focus on beaded bags and crochet because sewing was even much more tedious than the other two so because i am in a corporate career i decided i was going to just um niche down into that and so i have a craft page where i get orders but my main focus is on my career so in 2021 i wrote a book as well and that book is one way i've been able to get money since its launch in 2021 and because it's like a passive income kind of thing when you write once you can keep getting money from it and i put them on platforms where people can go buy and i get money and sales once in a while so you can think passive income as well you can think e-product you can think digital products like courses coaching things that you can put together at once just once and then you can keep getting money from into the foreseeable future so that's another idea for you if you're looking for an idea from this video it doesn't necessarily have to be 
books or writing it can be videos it can be coaching it can be tutorials you know there are a lot of platforms like upwork fiverr that you can put your product on your designs if you're a graphic designer whatever it is that you can design and put together and make passive income from that's an idea for you so books was another way that i was able to make money along the journey of my career so those were all of the things that i did i feel like i might have missed out on something here and there if i need to do another video i will or if i get more questions i will address anything i have missed but the purpose of this video is just to encourage someone out there that needs to start something different from what you're already doing or if you're not even doing anything at all but you need to start something this is the time now to sit down like i said i always did a market survey looked around me what resources can i monetize what skill can i learn what thing can i do to ensure that i am making money or to ensure that i am improving myself so that in the future i can use those skills to make money now is the time to start doing all of those plans, writing it down and making your survey and research so that in the future you will not be left with one option of just your career or you will not just be left with um, envying people that are making the money and investing from it or you will not just be left with even going the extra mile to go and beg from them or go, go and ask them for money. I feel like there are things that you can do with your hands, with your brain, with your resources that would keep taking you to that level of success that you want to get to. So I hope this video has done justice to some of your questions so which of these things that i did do you find interesting or did you know me at any era of my life when i was doing any of these things or is there something else that i've done that i missed i didn't mention but you were in that part of my life and you remember let me know in the comment section below and let us engage so if you are interested in knowing the craft i make or seeing my crafts page then i'm going to link it down in the comment section below so that you can see more of the things that i have done and if you're interested in placing an order then it's fine you can reach out to me it's so let me know what are you currently doing or what skill have you picked that you would like to share with me or that you would like other people to know about write it in the comment section you can also tag your page put in your page put in your website put in your handles instagram handle or how people can reach out to you write it all in the comment section below also if there is something that you want to learn there might be someone watching that will give you an idea of how they went about it or how they were able to do that thing or develop that thing or they might just give you an advice about how your journey went and the best route to go just put it down in the comment section probably you might meet someone that can help advise or even tell you that they are on the journey together so that you can collaborate or work with them so i hope this helps so this brings me to the end of the video it's not a lot but i feel like it's to encourage someone don't be idle do not think that you cannot maximize your skills you cannot maximize your resources that you do not have anything to offer in fact you have more than enough to offer sit down and think about the things that you might have left that you can kickstart again crochet and bead making was not something i picked up immediately i've learned it like when i was 10 like i said long long time ago and now i decided i was going to sharpen the skills the skill in school was just to introduce me i had to sharpen the skill i had to start learning again i had to pay as well to learn from people because i really wanted to go into it so think about that interest that might have been sparked in you when you were young but you now want to build on it and make it into something profitable and i believe that this video would encourage you to sit down calculate and start to make out something from all of the skills that you have gathered so thank you so much once again for watching this video and do not forget to subscribe do not forget to share my video do not forget to give me a thumbs up do not forget to comment and engage with me and i'll see you all in my next video bye